The project managers here are ANS. After a quick health and safety piece, the company's Lionel Victor showed us around. He told us that he is effectively the government's eyes and ears on site, liaising with the contractor, Casais. Our first stop was a typical three-bedroom apartment. The internal area is 97 square meters, and it has a 12 square meter balcony. This is a sample three-bedroom apartment which has been prepared to the agreed finishes and standards. The contractor and project managers have been kind enough to show GBC around this afternoon. They tell us that they've chosen high-spec windows in order to be able to keep the noise and wind outside. With buildings this tall, the design and build need to take account of very high winds. This is a temporary lift used during the construction phase. Once this project is complete, the lifts will be high speed, moving at three meters per second in order to cope with the busiest times of the day. The views from the top of Gibraltar's tallest building. We're 110 meters up. Of course, the whole Hassan Centenary Terraces project has many months to go yet, but they've reached the top of this building four. And I must say, these new views of Gibraltar are simply stunning. It wasn't a windy day, so we barely felt any wind at all up here. But in the event of very high winds, there is something called a tuned sloshing dampener designed to suppress the vibrations of the building. These were exciting views for GBC to take in. They'll be extra special for the families looking forward to making their homes here. About 500 workers are on site pushing to hit the deadlines.